Hi there, I'm Coach Todd. Happy Halloween. This is uh, not much of a costume, but I grabbed something from the kids' uh, bedroom. Thought I'd make a little uh, short Halloween video for you guys. One thing I want you guys to do is uh, try to uh, keep track of your training the best you can. I used to keep track of my training simply by uh, a notebook, like a, you know, a coiled book, and I write in what I did, and you know, how my times were, what was the heart rate. Now we have amazing tools to keep track of stuff. And what, what I get most of you guys to do is the workouts get sent to you by training peaks and you can use things like iPhone to, to update your workout. So I'm going to show you how easy it can be to use an app, training peaks, to uh, get your, to record your workout. So let's see how this goes. I'm not sure how it's going to look, uh, me videotaping an iPhone, but we're going to give it a go. All right, here we go. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is go into Training Peaks. And then you need to put in your username. And then your password. And then you log in. Okay, so... Okay, so now I am going to say I did a workout today. So what I need to do is I need to go to add workout and then it's going to be a run workout and then I'm going to put in a title and we're going to call it a treadmill run. All right, and the duration going to be 45 minutes so let's scroll to 45 and go done distance let's say 8k why not um, enter description I'm going to call it a fartlek barrel fartlek Cut down. And then comments. And I'm going to say it took a while to warm up. Warm up. I'm going to say build from 6.5 to 8.5 miles per hour good run god run good run good run and then what you do is you just go up here where it says add you go add adding workout that's done and that's it that's how easy it is to add a workout so now, I've added a swim on Monday, and I'm going to open that up. Now let's imagine I just, just finished it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to completed. Well, first thing you need to do is go up here to this little uh, pencil paper sheet, and you click on that, and then it enables you to actually edit things. So now I'm going to go to completed, click on the completed box, and I'm going to say I did 59 minutes. Why not? That sounds good. And then let's scroll down to the description, 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 a new comment. I'm going to say, amazing swim. Great work. Great work, Todd. There we go. And then when you're done with that, so you've added your comment, then you go save, and it's added. So as simple as that. So that's how you can add a new workout, or you can add comments to your existing workouts. And that's how easy it can be to uh, keep track of your workouts and update what you've done on your iPhone or your whatever phone you're using. It's pretty simple, and it, it's a great way to record, and it's, a, it's an easy way to look back and see how your training is progressing or, or what has been missed or you know what worked well or what hasn't worked well. So I highly recommend you inputting your workouts and your comments uh, using your iPhone or your, or your computer or whatever. 
Okay, so I've already had three little mini chocolate, chocolate, not eggs, if you have chocolate, uh, what do they call it, chocolate bars already, washed it down with some coffee and uh, it's not even, uh, not even noon yet, so I, Halloween hasn't even started yet, so but hopefully I don't get the double digits today, but you never know. It is, after all, it's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody, and happy trading.